Gearheads of the internet, welcome to the top 5 electric mountain bikes of 2021. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the best full suspension e-bikes to tackle single track trails. These are all trail bikes with around 150 to 160 mil travel and are great all-rounders. If you're looking for enduro downhill style mountain e-bikes, we've done a separate video on this, which I'll link below. I've been working in bike shops for the last 10 years and live in the mountain bike mecca of the world, Whistler, so I know a thing or two about bicycles. Not only will we be looking at each model of bike, but I've also considered the value of each build from the manufacturers, taking into consideration the quality of motor, size of battery, and overall build kits. Picking up the best entry-level bike under $5,000 is the Decoy from YT, retailing at $43.99. YT Industries are a great example of just how much, as a consumer, you can save by taking out the middleman. YT are a direct-to-consumer bike brand and offer some brilliant spec bikes that are rider designed. In the base build, you're getting a carbon mainframe and an alloy rear built around the Shimano E8000 motor. Yes, this motor design has been replaced this year by an updated version, but in real world tests, there hasn't been much of a difference found. Adjustable geometry and suspension allows you to dial in the feel of this bike to your liking, and it comes with a great build for the price. It comes with a Shimano E8000 motor, a 540 watt hour battery, which should get you on average about a two to three hour ride. The frame is a carbon front, and an alloy chainstain seat stay. The suspension package is a RockShox Yari with a deluxe select in the rear. Shimano SLX drivetrain and SRAM Code R brakes. Comes from a direct to consumer brand, so you're getting a great value on the build. The geometry puts you in a great climbing position and it has a poppy and responsive ride. It is using an older style motor, which came out in 2016. The new one is lighter and more powerful on paper, but this bike is $4,400. The best overall value bike is the Norco Sight VLT in the C1 build. It retails for $74.99 and you're getting a hell of a lot of bike for that price tag. Norco is based in North Vancouver where mountain biking began and they have a great reputation for building capable, fast mountain bikes. With their venture into e-bikes, we've seen a surge in popularity with this brand in particular because of the great price. The Sight VLT has a progressive geometry and is built around the Shimano motor. The C1 is the top tier build from Norco with a carbon frame, E8000 motor, and a large 630 watt hour battery. The range of an e-bike is really tricky to estimate because there are so many variables with terrain, temperature, rider weight, and input, but a 630 watt hour battery should average a three to four hour ride. The ride time can be extended with an optional external battery from Norco, which gives an extra 360 watt hour. If you want great parts, but don't want to spend too much cash, the Norco Sight VLT C1 is my top choice. The motor is the Shimano E8000, a 630 watt hour battery with an optional 360 watt hour extender, carbon front, alloy rear. The suspension package is the RockShox Lyric Ultimate RC2 with the Super Deluxe Select Plus in the rear. The drivetrain is the SRAM GX and the brakes are Kodars. It's affordable, it has a modern geometry and the carbon builds are available in either a 29 or a 27.5 inch wheel. In my experience, Norco does have a higher warranty rate and the service time of the motor has been an issue in the last year or so, so we'll see if this is ironed out for 2021. The prize for best innovation goes to the Specialized Levo SL. My pick, the Expert Carbon Build, retails for just over nine grand and you're getting the latest and greatest tech from Specialized for that price. This is a super light take on the traditional e-bike and it doesn't have much in the way of competitors in its class. There are some light e-bikes from Lapierre and Knox, but these are not nearly tested and manufactured on the same scale as Specialized. A smaller battery and motor means the bike is a whopping 10 pounds lighter than its bigger brother, the regular Levo. The full-size Levo gives four times the effort in assistance and this SL model gives you two times the assistance. However, with its lighter weight, this translates into more assistance than you'd expect and a bike that feels more like a normal mountain bike. Looking at it from a distance, 
instance, its sleek design could have onlookers fooled into thinking that you didn't have specialized latest slimline motor between your legs. It has a 320 watt hour battery, which will average you about two to three hours of riding, but keep in mind that the overall assistance is also less than a fully fledged e-bike. There is a range extender available in the shape of a water bottle that plugs in to the charging port and gives you an extra 160 watt hour of power. Unlike some other e-bikes, all of the Levo SLs feature the exact same motor and battery size, so the differences between each package are in the non-motorized components. This bike would be a great gateway e-bike for a new rider who's not quite ready to make the full leap, or if you lag in the back of the pack with your super fit friends. If you're looking to be in line with the rest of your e-bike riding crew, then this SL model will require more input in order to keep up with those fully fledged e-bikes. Specialized SL 1.1 motor, 320 watt hour battery with an optional 160 watt hour extender, carbon frame. The suspension package is the Fox 34 Performance with a float DPS performance with climb trail and descend in the rear. Drivetrain is the SRAM GX Eagle. And the brakes are the new G2 RSCs, which is SRAM's new version of the guide brakes. This is cutting edge tech. Specialized is known to be super reliable in the e-bike game. And it's so lightweight that you wouldn't think you're riding an e-bike. The cons, obviously, it's not as powerful and it doesn't have the range as regular e-bikes. Now the crown for best overall e-bike is the Trek Rail 9.8 coming in at eight and a half grand. You're getting full carbon frame with a RockShox Zeb up front. That's the fork all the bike nerds are talking about this year. And you'll be getting a hefty 625 watt hour battery with the Bosch Performance Line CX motor. Its progressive geometry makes this a no brainer for the rider who favors gnarly steep descents. This balanced bike has it all, a tried and tested motor with lots of juice in the battery, met with Trek's R&D department soaked in rider testing. The battery is easily removable to be charged inside or taken in for service or replaced. It ticks every single box in the trail category and should be easy to find since it's one of the most popular bike brands worldwide. Personally, I've dealt with customer service from a dealer's perspective and I've never seen a client disappointed by any aspect of their trek, which is not something I can say for all brands on this list. If you're looking for a risk-free, fun-fueled foray into e-bikes, then the Trek Rail in any build is a great choice. The motor is the Bosch Performance CX, battery of 625 watt hours, full carbon frame. The suspension package is the RockShox Zeb Select Plus with a super deluxe Ultimate RT3 in the rear. You have the option to go for a SRAM GX drivetrain or Shimano XT, and the brakes can be Code R's or Shimano SLX. This bike has excellent ride feel, a good range and an easy removable battery. Trek do make a range extender for their e-bikes, but unfortunately it's not compatible with the rail. If money was no object, which bike would you choose? It's gotta be an S-Works. This is the specialized Levo S-Works coming in at a whopping $15,000. They make cheaper bikes, but this is the top tier model with their 2.2 motor only seen in the top two versions of the Levo. This beefy, powerful motor is fed by a huge 700 watt hour battery, the biggest battery available on the market. If you want all day rides on boost mode, this is the e-bike that's most likely to deliver it. The S-Works model has a mullet setup, meaning the front wheel is a 29 inch wheel and the rear is 27.5. This ensures that you have a low bottom bracket and a slack head tube angle, making this bike a dream to ride on rough technical descents. The Levo has an adjustable geometry, letting you dial in the feel of the bike, offering six options of head tube angle and BB height. Easy in out of the battery from the frame, just one Allen key, and you can remove the battery to charge indoors and easily reinstall it. The power button also displays the battery capacity and allows you to change the modes directly from the frame. So if you wanted, you are able to remove the remote from the handlebar. The mission control app allows for easy fine tuning of the motor. Cable routing goes through the arm on the frame, allowing the down tube to be a slimmer design. There have been known issues with the drive belts in previous years, which they have addressed with a more robust belt for 2021 and software changes that put less strain on the motor. They've also increased the warranty to four years. This is the most popular bike as far as numbers on the trail and user experience is by far the best. The short reach and its long back end makes it feel front heavy. So for more aggressive trails, the bike feels a little out of its depth, 
It has the new specialised 2.2 motor, 700 watt hour battery with optional extender, it's carbon, the suspension package is the Fox 38 factory and Float X2 factory, drivetrain is the SRAM AXS, yes that's the fancy wireless stuff, and the brakes are the Magura MT7s. This bike is the dream, it has a powerful motor, huge battery capacity and it's the most reliable brand on the market. Unfortunately it does cost more than my car and the frame is due for a redesign. Wow, those were some nice bikes that makes my stumpy Evo quiver in fear. If you liked this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more gear videos like this. Don't forget to check out the DH style e-bikes in the description below if you're looking for something more aggressive. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.